Out of the blue this week, Ubisoft have just released a trailer for a new game, a brand new free-to-play fast-paced arena shooter that combines intense gunplay with personalised loadouts and specialised factions as teams of gunfighters called the Defiance Battle for Domination. Guys, today's video we are going to look a little bit into X Defiant, try and break it down a little bit and ask the question. Would you be part of the community and would you play this game? Let's do it! So if you haven't seen this game, you don't know anything about it, we're going to run the tree one now. Once we do that, we'll break a few things down and what we find. We're excited to share a first look at a project we're developing at Ubisoft San Francisco. This is our take on a multiplayer first-person shooter. We need to get you in early and find out what you think. Our goal is to make a best-in-class shooter for you, the players, to compete and have fun with your friends. It's fast-paced firefights meets punk rock mosh pit. We're proud to introduce our new game, Tom Clancy's X Defiant. Your feedback is essential to help us make this game great. Later in this video, we'll tell you how to get involved. But first, we'll get into the action. This is a free-to-play, high-octane shooter combining realistic gunplay with personalized classes. Those classes are represented in our game as factions, each bringing unique gameplay and team dynamics. Every faction comes equipped with traits, abilities, and an ultra to complement your playstyle and the faction's role. Used skillfully, each faction is capable of swinging the momentum of a match. Our factions are at the heart of the game. They're inspired by Maverick groups from across Tom Clancy's games and beyond. From this inspiration, we created new characters and gameplay unique to our shooter. will continue to add to this diverse cast as the game evolves. Now while factions help you define your role, we know to be a great shooter, the gunplay has to be our top priority. We have an ever-growing arsenal of authentic weapons and attachments. We put a lot of care into how our weapons look and feel. We've crafted every weapon attachment for precise, satisfying gunplay. Players can mix and match any faction and weapon loadout. You can swap at respawn to adapt to a changing battlefield. Personalize your faction and loadout to be what you need when you need it. And I can't stress this hard enough. We are a shooter first. And your abilities and ultras create unique opportunities to set up nail-biting shootouts and unforgettable clutch plays. Personalizing classes, guns, and gear in a fast-paced fight is a whole new experience in Tom Clancy Gaming. We are super stoked by what we've accomplished so far. We hope that we can build a community that's a place where people can connect and have fun. And we're committed to creating a welcoming game based on fair play and transparency, whether you're playing casually or pushing yourself competitively. Now, the game's still in early development, but we're gearing up to let you in as soon as possible. So register right now to participate in our early rollout phases. Thank you so much for watching. We really want your input, so please reach out to us on social media. So what is X Defiant? Well, X Defiant is a bit of a crossover using the Tom Clancy franchise and it's a bit of a crossover by Ubisoft um, kind of combining a whole lot of different games that you will probably be familiar with if you are a Ubisoft um, game player there are, there are certainly um, a number of elements from Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell and also the Division uh, kind of franchise of games added into this um, into X Defiant and it's described as a fast paced firefight with punk rock mosh bits, whatever the heck that means. But anyway, uh, we're going to start breaking a few things down and um, deep diving into 
the game as much as information as we got at this point and um, hopefully it gives you a bit more of a view about what this game's about. You'd certainly say that the, um, the thing that struck me straight up about X Defiant is they are certainly looking to penetrate the kind of space of certainly Call of Duty but you know kind of Overwatch, Valorant, that, those kind of um, game you be a kind of multiplayer um, experiences and certainly X Defiant the more, more you dig into the game the more I'm convinced it's very much uh, um, their answer to a Call of Duty style shooter or maybe not so much Battlefield but certainly Call of Duty and um, there are some things that they've added to the game that, um, that's that been tried in Call of Duty and for that community has not been 100% successful and uh, we'll talk about that as we go on but that's certainly in my mind that's where I see this, this game fitting into the kind of um, video game landscape. So let's start with the factions and there are going to be four different factions um, for you to choose as you can see up on screen. So we have the Echelon from Splinter Cell, we have the Outcasts and the Cleaners from The Division and finally we have the Wolves from Ghost Recon. Now within these factions will be Defiance and the Defiance are various characters within a faction and um, Ubisoft are talking about making sure that you can distinguish your own player by player skins within a faction and within a defiant so um, so there's some key elements with within each of these factions so you, you're gonna have some passive traits that you can use there's going to be some ultras whatever that actually means I'm not quite sure at this point and there are going to be a whole lot of abilities, different abilities that you are going to be able to choose from. And I would suggest, if it's like any other game of this type that I've played, that those abilities are going to be um, unlockable as you play the game. So, let's go through each of these classes one by one and um, explain what they're all about. So, we have the Echelon uh, class, which is... Uh, it's described as a support class and it will hide info from your enemies and provide info to the team so I'd say this is some kind of stealth class and certainly looking at some of the um, the footage that they've shown us it certainly seems to suggest that they have some scanning abilities and some stealth abilities within that class secondly we have the outcasts um, outcasts faction which is a healing faction and that's really all we know about it so I would suggest with each of these factions that if you're playing as a group you would want to choose one faction each so you get the benefit of them um, of each class within your group but um, obviously it's going to be a 6v6 so there can be some outliers there to strengthen we then come on to the cleaners and that is um, the assault class which is going to be fire based and high damage per second and then finally the wolves which is your tank class higher health with shield bait based activities so all it sounds all very exciting and um, what they did say the developers um, interview did say is that is the starting four factions they would anticipate adding um, adding more factions as the game evolves but at this point that's what you're going to start with they also talk about um, the gun loadouts and we'll talk about the weapons in a second but they talk about the gun loadouts are not um, you don't have a have to have specific weapons for specific factions you can mix and match your loadouts throughout each of these um, each of these factions and um, you can change your weapons every time you respawn so when you die if you come back in and the guns you're using aren't working for you then you can change your load at, at that point moving on to the weapons in the game and you, you see by the uh, snapshots that I've been able to capture there's a lot of familiar guns that you're going to be able to choose from and a lot of familiar um, gun classes I think they've pretty much covered every single kind of element that you're ever going to want and plus they've added a few um, unique things like flamethrowers and mini guns into the mix so that is all very um, very standard but very exciting I guess and one thing I will say having played um, 
many of the Ubisoft games, including The Division and Ghost Recon, quite extensively. They, their guns are, and their, the way their guns handle tend to be very, very, very good. Um, they are also talking about um, attachments. Um, you have a selection of attachments to choose from. And also, uh, one thing that I did pick up on um, with one of the guns, or at least one of the images that I captured, was the fact that there may be a opportunity to change the fire rate like you do in Ghost Recon. So that's all very kind of standard, but all very exciting. And it's good to know that you're going to have something in there that is going to suit your play style and you're going to enjoy using. So Ubisoft talk about, in at least the testing phase, they will have 10 different maps for you to play with. Um, seven of these maps will be arena type maps, what they describe as arena type maps, and the other three are described as linear type maps. So within the arena maps, you're going to have three game modes, which are domination, which is a fairly familiar um, game mode, upload and ringleader. Upload I would think is something similar to uplink. Ringleader I'm not really sure but what they say about this particular the arena um, the arenas is that the modes you're going to be able to play in there are going to be either objective modes, a TDM style of mode or a competitive high risk mode. So that's all very interesting and it should be familiar but hopefully they've got their little bit of flavour and twist on it. And then the linear maps are going to be a progressive style of gameplay and there's going to be two game modes to choose from in the linear maps and that will be Escort and Zone Control. So five modes in all over a 10 maps all sounds very very exciting and as they say that is only the starting point they would anticipate putting new maps and new modes in as the game progresses and grows and as the community progresses and grows because this is what they're talking about with X Defiant this is a long term view for Ubisoft in an um, online multiplayer environment so that's everything I've been able to gleam about X Defiant. What do you think guys? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very very excited by this actually. I'm, um, I'm certainly, um, it certainly piqued my interest and it's something a little bit different by Ubisoft and um, you know they're going into a different part of the market with this game so you can, uh, early testing is going to start on the 5th of August for North American North America and Canadian uh, players that are on PC uh, they talk about rolling it out for the rest of us in the near future as far as closed testing goes I've certainly read registered my interest I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to register online and uh, maybe get an opportunity to, to help them develop this game I think it's very important as a community that if you're interested in this that you help Ubisoft as much as possible I've done that several times in the past and they're very very responsive to the community okay thanks for watching guys if you would like this video I really would appreciate it, it helps at gaming for XP like you wouldn't believe and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you next time see ya